President Akufuado says the Attorney General's department has his full support to prosecute notorious Chinese Galamse businesswoman Aisha Huang. Aisha Huang was recently rearrested in Ghana after an initial deportation. President Akufuado, in an address at the launch of the Ghana Bar Association's annual conference in Ho, said he will throw his support behind the Attorney General to prosecute Aisha Huang. The president also urged the judiciary to ensure that the Chinese Galamsea is subjected to the full punishment as enshrined in the Minerals and Mining Act as amended, Act 2019, Act 995. Well, my full support of the Attorney General in his determination to prosecute Aisha Wang in her collaboration. Who <laughs> apparently insists on flouting our laws against Galamse and illegal mining. I expect, if they are found guilty, that the courts will apply the full fit rigor of the new amended Act 995 which has increased substantially the punishment for breaches of the law. Despite all the gains we have made in the Fourth Republic, Attorney General and Minister for Justice Godfrey Yebo Adami speaking at the same event raised concerns over what he described as unjustified attacks on Ghana's judiciary by former President John Dramani Mahama. Former President John Dramani Mahama recently raised concerns over some judgments from the courts, especially the Supreme Court, stating that the public seems to be losing confidence in the judiciary. So badly has the image of our judiciary deteriorated that many of our citizenry openly make mockery of our justice system and of our justices. The phrase, go to court, is these days met with derisive laughter instead of hope that one would truly get justice if he went to the courts. If people are not poking fun about politics and inducements being used to sway the hand of justice in the lower courts, then it is poking fun and making statements about the 7-0 of the unanimous FC. <laughs> Verdicts which mostly involve cases of a political nature in our Supreme Court. This is an unfortunate but serious development. According to Mr. Dami, the attacks stain the image of the judiciary and incites unsuspecting Ghanaians against the courts, a situation which he says may threaten the peace and well-being of the country. It was done with great dismay and embarrassment that I heard a person who has occupied the highest office of state, former President Joe Muhammad recently launched an oriented attack on the integrity of Ghana's judiciary. And I observed that this was really the latest installment of systematic and caustic attacks, attacks on our court by the former president, albeit unjustified. And I observed that this was really, and I'm compelled to comment on saying in this address, because the border on the security of the state and constituted a great pattern of conduct aimed at undermining the independence of the judiciary, an arm of government whose autonomy is crucial to its proper functioning. Such conduct is clearly deplorable, coming from one who has occupied the highest office of president and has passed again to that office. At this moment, it's important for all to note that I express this sentiment not because I stand in opposition to former President Obama as a politician. My dismay is founded more on the fact that I'm a lawyer, and every lawyer ought to be concerned about these kinds of views expressed by a political leader in this country. Mr. Dami, who was also addressing lawyers at the Ghana Bar Association's annual conference in Ho, said well-meaning Ghanaians ought to call the former president to order lest his conduct derails Ghana's democratic growth. Closely examined, one will notice that the source of the former president's unjustified attacks on the judiciary is the unanimous dismissal by the Supreme Court of his rather poorest election petition, which indeed, in my respect for you, was dead on arrival and bound to be dismissed by any court to the sorts in the country. It is therefore perplexing how if such a petition is dismissed by the court, it should form the basis for an allegation of unfair treatment by the court. It ought to be understood that it is the duty of the court to administer justice according to law. The court is not a messy chamber to serve justice based on sympathy or affection. I observe with even greater worry that the former president, 
who is a non-lawyer, who is a non-lawyer, made this comment at a meeting, political committee of his political party. None of the lawyers raised a finger to contest the wrong and dangerous propaganda by the former president. By their silence, they became advertors of the propagation of hate against the judiciary. The president, after his engagement with the Bar Association, inspected construction works on the first lot of Eastern Corridor Road and Agenda 111 Hospital at Kpeve in the South Dain district of the Volta region, after which he paid a ketsi call on the Akpinif Yaga Okokawukbe Dagadu the 9th. He later inspected a steel bridge work at Kbando Fesi.